हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योजना कुमावत लेक्चरर इन केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग ऑफ के के वाग पॉलिटेक्निक नाशिक टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इंडियन बॉयलर एक्ट 1923 व्हिच कम्स अंडर द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ प्लांट यूटिलिटी ऑफ सेकंड ईयर डिप्लोमा इन केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग इंडियन बॉयलर एक्ट came in nineteen twenty three. This act contained the law related to registration and inspection of steam boiler. This act may be called as the Indian Boiler Act nineteen twenty three. It extends to the whole of India except the state of Jammu and Kashmir. This act is applicable to all boiler, for example, water tube boiler, fire to fire to boilers, or the different types of this water tube and fire tube boilers. Section two defines the various definition related to boiler and its accessories. Here are some major definition of the act is given. The first definition is of boiler. Boiler means any closed vessels exceeding twenty two point seventy five liters in capacity, which is used expressly for generating steam under pressure. and includes any mounting or other fitting attached to such vessel which is wholly or partly under pressure and is shut off next definition given in the indian boiler act is on accident accident means an explosion of a boiler or a steam pipe or any damage to a boiler or a steam pipe which is calculated to weaken the strength therefore so as to render it liable to explode next definition given in indian boiler act of economizer economizer means any part of a feed pipe that is wholly or partially exposed to the action of flue gases for the purpose of recovery of waste heat next definition given in indian boiler act are feed pipe and steam pipe feed pipe is nothing but the any pipe or connected fitting wholly or partly under a pressure through which feed water passes directly to a boiler and which does not form an integral part next is steam pipe it is the pipe through which steam passes from a boiler to a prime mover or other users or a boat there are some limitations to this indian boiler act in any steam pipe as defined in indian steam ships act 1884 or in any steam vessels as defined in the inland steam vessel act 1917 will not be considered in under the indian boiler act also the boiler which comes under the control of army navy or air force also not considered in the indian boiler act the uh, sterilizers or the disinfector of a type such as commonly used in hospitals are also not considered under the indian boiler act This act shall not apply in the case of boilers or a steam pipes or any specified class of boilers or steam pipes belonging to or under the control of any railway administered by the central government or by any state government or by any railway company as defined in clause. Next part of the Indian Boiler Act is registration of boiler when we are uh, planning to set boiler in our industry it is necessary it should be registered before they can be used the owner of the boiler shall give an application for the registration the inspector shall examine the boiler and find the maximum pressure at which the boiler may operated The employee shall not use the boiler for a pressure higher than that permitted by the chief inspector. Next section of the Indian Boiler Act is certificate of renewal. The certificate useful to the employer for using the boiler shall be renewed after generally twelve months 
if the boiler is transferred from one state to the another if some accident occur with the boiler or if some alterations are done in the boiler parts next section of the indian boiler act is duty is a persons in charge this person in charge will check whether all boilers are registered or not according all the boilers are working according to the provision of the act to check the boilers and its mountings and accessories periodically means monthly after 6 months or yearly advise the owner regarding the maintenance and inspection of a boiler there is another inspector is there that is a chief inspector the duties of chief inspector are they decide whether the certificate is to be given or not maintain the record of all the boiler is the responsibility of chief inspector and the supervision and the control of work of officer in charge is also the duty of chief inspector next section of indian boiler act is transfer of boiler when we want to transfer a boiler from one state to the another permission must be taken again from the chief inspector of new state for its installation and operation if we fail to do so then the we cannot install our boiler in another state next section of the indian boiler act is boiler repairs before carrying out the boiler repairs permission is obtained from the chief inspector major boiler repairs and replacement connected with the furnace etc are undertaken in the presence of inspector only next section of the indian boiler act is inspection of boiler boiler is inspected before the certificate for its operation is given to its employer before inspecting the boiler the boiler should be cleaned all the fittings such as burner stoker etc are removed and the valves and cocks etc are open next section under the indian boiler act is boiler accident in case of boiler accident the boiler shall inform the inspector with full details of the same the inspector shall carry out the investigation and decide whether to permit use of boiler in the future and if so then at what working pressure the inspector should inform chief inspector about his investigation next section under the indian boiler act is boiler mounting for a proper and a safe operation of a boiler the following shall be fitted on the same means the boiler consists of or the it should be mounted with the one blow of cock one feed pump one feed check wall one feasible plug adequate number of manholes and side holes two safety walls one safety wall after superheater and two water level indicator the another section of the indian boiler act is penalties for illegal use of boiler a fine up to rupees 500 and then rupees 100 per day additional after the first day of the offence shall be imposed on occupier if he fail to operate a boiler without getting registered or if he refuses to surrender the certificate of operating the boiler if he does not report the transfer of boiler from one state to the another and uses it without setting if he does not report accident of a boiler if he repairs after or replaces the boiler part without prior permission of the inspector and if he contravenes any other provision of the act thank you everyone for listening my video